Okay, now we're going to add a third assumption about human preferences. This one is called transitivity. And it's assumption that is about kind of preferences are logically coherent. What I mean by that is consider these uh, three points here, C, A, and B. In this case, we can't actually use non-satiation to say which to order these, okay? Yes, C is above the indifference curve, and that tells us something that we'll use in a minute, but if we were only going to rely on that principle number one, well, C has less food than A and B, even though it has more shelter than both, so we don't know, we can't just assert only using the non-satiation rule that it's preferred. Similarly, we can't assert that B is worse just because it has uh, uh, more food or just because it can't be worse. We can't say using just rule number one that it's worse simply because it has less shelter. But now that we have this indifference curve, we can go a little bit further. For example, we know that at this point on the indifference curve, C prime, C prime is indifferent to A, but it has, but C has more than more of everything. So by non-satiation, C must be better than C prime. Similarly, we could also uh, draw a point here, B prime, and we know that A is indifferent to B prime because uh, they're on the same indifference curve, but B has more food and shelter than B, so that must mean that this thing is preferred. And transitivity basically says that you can just carry through all these relationships like I've written. We could also say just simply that C is greater than B, okay? So. Transitivity implies that basically if A, well, let's use X, Y, and Z because we already have some A's over there. If X is preferred to Y and Y is preferred to Z, then X is also preferred to Z. It just means that you can carry through these preferences. If I prefer this to that and that to something else, then I also prefer this to something else. Okay. One of the implications of this is that indifference curves cannot cross. Okay. So if we go back to this guy over here, let's focus on this point C. We could make the same arguments about non-satiation completeness to draw an indifference curve through this guy C, and it would look something like this. Similarly, we could do the same thing for B, and it might look something like this. Okay. And now we can see that we've got a set of indifference curves. And just like those isoquants, as we go in this direction, we're getting to more preferred, okay? And that's because we have more food and shelter as we move in that direction, okay? And people like having more stuff by the non-satiation principle. I should add that in economics, we usually assume that for example, if you have more food than you can possibly eat or a bigger house than you could possibly ever visit, that's not bad for you because you can just not enjoy that stuff. You, can, you don't have to eat it. You can just set it aside. And we assume something called free disposal, which means that uh, it's not expensive to get rid of stuff you're not going to use. It's, in fact, free. Okay. So that's a hidden assumption that we're going to make and not talk that much about, but it could be important. It could perhaps be important in some situations. The, non, the transitivity assumption means that these indifference curves, now there are more than one, they can't cross. I can't have another indifference curve that looks like this, okay? And the reason that is, is because if I've got this new indifference curve with x and x prime, well, this is saying since this uh, x has more than c, we would be saying that x is preferred to c, right? Because by the non-satiation principle, and since B has more than X prime, we know that B is preferred to X prime, but I've said because they're on the same indifference curve that X and X prime are indifferent, and this is violating our transitivity rule, okay? We can't have something, uh, we can't say that B is preferred to C based on this, but also that C is preferred to B because of that. It's, again, we need logically coherent preferences.